Owen's wife, Liz, told us this is one of their typical runs. We go to places like Hill Clooney all the time. It's most of what we do. We asked Liz to tell us about their operation and the impact the conditions have on their trucks. Because it's livestock transport and what we get is mostly dirt roads and very rural and regional roads that have very little maintenance. It's, it's hard country, it's rough country and corrugation and that sort of thing. Almost all dirt. Steep jump up, steep hills. You know, some places you go you have to make your own road because the road that's there is either bulldust full of bulldust holes or whatever, you're going to make your own road around that. Um, quite often where we go, um, seldom anything but a Toyota and the trucks come in once or twice a year, three times a year and it's not really built for, for trucks as such. You're going to make your own way. So Liz, how many road trains do you operate? We have seven trucks and 36, tra 36 decks of road train trailers. Primove is seven Kenworths. Five of those are Caterpillars and two are Cummins. They are a good, honest truck. They do exactly what they're asked to do. They're, um, we build them as, we spec them as we want them to do what needs to be done in our job and they've never let us down. Well, the, old, the older trucks, we've got one older truck here that we bought second hand that's still doing a really good job. It's an old triple four Cummins and it's still doing the job as well as it needs to do. A lot of what we get out of our trucks is because of the maintenance program. It's a very strict maintenance program, very strict oil changes, very strict on our greasing, all those sorts of things. And I think that's part of the reason they do what they do. But the truck that's being built up, rebuilt over there is conservatively, it's 1.8 million k's it's had on. It's had a couple of speedos and things, but yeah, 1.8 million k's is pretty well. And that's the first that's had anything done to it. So We did the uh, BAB quad test out here, just out here at Woodstock. We had a triple road train and a BAB quad and ran them on a section of road at Woodstock and they had uh, fitting a, they had fitted the trailers with equipment to measure all sorts of things. Benefit for us is you've got, a B, you've got two B-doubles hooked together. You can actually unhook one when you get to the end of road train route and just hook one truck underneath it and take it away. Whereas with a triple road train, you have to have three trucks to take them where they need to go. Cattle were steadily running up the ramp onto the truck. That's what's called a through loader. They're doors and ramps at either end of the stock crate, which allow the cattle to run through each trailer. This way the entire road train can be loaded without being moved. That's Owen's nephew, Paul Taylor, closing the through loader doors and it's a relatively simple operation. It takes roughly 20 minutes to load the 157 head of cattle. While Owen is easing the road train slowly out of the paddock and back onto the track, we thought we'd run through the spec of his Kenworth T650 in trailers. Under the hood is a 600 horsepower Caterpillar engine, coupled to Eaton's 22918B Road Ranger transmission, which means it's an extremely heavy duty gearbox with 18 forward gears. The final drive is a Rockwell 52180, which ride on Kenworth's low profile Big Six steel spring rear end. The trailers and dollies are built by Brisbane-based Hallmark Trailers, who are renowned for their robust construction and functional design. Like the Kenworth T650, these trailers also ride on steel springs. They're 4.6 metres high, 12 metres long, and have two decks, which incidentally is where the term six decks, meaning a triple road train, came from. Here's something you don't see every day. It's a makeshift gate, often referred to as a carry and drag gate, because that's how they operate. They're relatively simple to build and very effective and often used in conjunction with temporary fencing. Owen slows up for this small dry creek crossing. He told us that if you don't, you can do untold damage on the road train suspension. 
and it bounces the cattle around too much. The approach down into the Douglas River rolls off the ridge into a big sweeping left-hand turn, then veers slightly right a few metres from the bridge. Owen engages a low gear at the top of the descent and slowly approaches the narrow bridge, taking the Kenworth T650 wide to ensure the trailers come straight onto the bridge. The long climb out of the river requires all of the big yellow caterpillars 600 horsepower. The addition of bitumen in this section really helps the Kenworth T650 maintain traction. Here in the loose dirt, Owen uses the drop-off to build up speed to crest the next jump up. The reason for this is, on loose gravel roads, the truck's drive wheels could lose traction. And if that happens, then the only way over is by unhooking each trailer and pulling them over the jump up separately. And that's something Owen can well do without. Take note of the bull bar on the front of the Kenworth T650. In a minute, we'll show you why they're a must in this country. back on the black top once again. And that's where we have to leave Owen as he heads off into the setting sun. It'll be a little after dark when he unloads the cattle in Charters Towers. 